welcome back to my channel i decided that i would start a series sort of for women over 40 and want to be talking about some of my favorite things that help me with some of my concerns as my skin gets a little more mature the first sort of category that i'm going to share with you today is my favorite concealers my concerns now is that i have darker circles than I used to. I used to like forego concealer altogether and just put a little bit of medium coverage foundation on and that would be fine. But in the last, I would say year or so, the circles have gotten darker. I don't know if it's because I'm getting less sleep. Also, I have fine lines under my eyes and I don't want my concealers to sort of seep into the fine lines. So I'm going to share with you all some of my favorite concealers. I have some of low end, some sort of high end, sort of a variety that you can choose from and try out if you want to. I'm going to start with the lower end things that I absolutely love. The first one I am going to show you is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. And I use it under the, I mean, in the shade Fawn. So you can see here, it is in the shade Fawn. And this concealer, I will admit, you have to work fast with because it will dry up on you. But I like this one because the coverage is indeed full. This is what it looks like on my hand and I will sort of buff it out. Ignore that I have other things on my hand, but it kind of helped because you can see that this is indeed a full coverage concealer. It covered up the remnants of other things from other videos on my hand. I like this one because it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it sort of gives me a bright under eye effect without being over the top bright. And it lasts all day with no cracking, no caking into the fine lines, anything like that. And this one I believe is like maybe $3.99 or $4.99 or something like that. So it's very affordable. Also the next one, which I think is about $4.99, is from e.l.f. And this one is pretty new. I believe I have done a video on this one and you saw how well it worked. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This one I have in the shade Deep Chestnut. I also own it in the shade Deep Olive, which most of the time I use for my eyelids. Cancel out all that redness around my eyelids. And I will show you what that one looks like. And I will do this now. I like this one because it has a little bit of orange in it. And that orange helps to cancel out the sort of blue dark circles up under my eyes. And it is very affordable. It is comparable, I would say, to the higher end um, Tarte Shape Tape. So if you cannot or do not want to purchase the Tarte Shape Tape, this is a very viable option for you. It does not sink into the fine lines at all it dries sort of i want to say sort of semi-matte i want to say or velvety so it, it doesn't enhance the the lines up under my eyes also it kind of feels sort of moisturizing when you put it on which is what i'm looking for i'm also trying to find that elf you know that they had a little product that you could just put up under your eyes and it was sort of puff up the the fine lines and make your under eyes more moisturized and then you could put your concealer on i have to check the wealth the wealth the elf website for it because i can't find it in stores also from elf and i use this to put on my eyelids as well because the eyelids are getting a little bit more pigmented and this is the elf color correcting stick and they have it in a light and they have it in a dark. This one is the lights for light skin tones. And the other one for dark skin tones was very orange. So orange it was almost red and I felt like that was a little bit too much. I wanted a sort of brightening effect for my eyes. So I picked this up. 
and this one being for lighter skin tones it also helps when you go to put a eyeshadow on top of it it helps the eyeshadow to pop also this one does need to be set because it is pretty tacky but it does a good job of giving me a blank canvas on my eyelid so that I can get true color from my eyeshadows. The next product that I have come to love since they came out with darker shades is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles, whatever they wanted to call this thing. I really, really like this one. I got it in the shade Tan. And they do have some shades darker. For the longest time, they did not have shades for women of color, which just irritated my whole entire soul. Because everybody else who was trying it was saying how good it was. And us, as women of color, were not able to try it out. I am glad that they reconsidered and made darker shades. This is a really, really nice um, concealer. People don't like it because they don't like the, um, the sponge tip applicator they think it's kind of unsanitary i love it you just kind of dot it up under here some people can blend but i just use it to kind of dot up under my eyes and then i blend it in this is what it looks like on my hand as you can see it has a bit of an orange undertone to it as well so it does a good job of hiding the blueness up under my eyes the next products I am going to show you are all high-end products they may be no surprise to you one of them might be a surprise to you because I, I hardly ever talk this is the OG whenever you would hear about like orange correctors you would always hear about the salmon um, concealers from Eve Pearl this is that salmon concealer I believe if I'm not right let me know but I believe she is like the first one who came up with these orange concealers to put up under your eyes this is what the orange this is called the dual salmon concealer salmon however you want to say it concealer and it looks like this so and this is in the shade dark so you have a lighter and a darker and I will swatch these for you they are very creamy that is the lighter and that is the darker and they look like this and you can see that orange definitely this orange does an excellent job of hiding the darkness up under your eyes and then you put this light on here to kind of brighten it up a little bit i absolutely love it it is as you can see sort of a it's a cream concealer but it is very very moisturizing as I settle into my fine lines it does an excellent job of staying all day and you can see what that looks like you can see what the brighter one looks like and it has those dark circles like that is the heavy duty if you ask me that is my heavy duty dark circle concealer the next two that I am going to show you are from Bare Minerals I believe I did a video on this one this one is what I call the quick and dirty. This one is neutral. All of their concealers, I believe, were neutral. At least all the dark tone ones were neutral. So this is a neutral dark. This one is much closer to my skin tone. But it still has a little bit of that orange in it to cancel the um, dark circles. But this one I can swipe up under my eyes pat it in and go I absolutely love this and because it is bare minerals it has more natural ingredients in it so really really like that one OG from bare minerals are their loose mineral products period but this is the bisque bisque has been around for as long as I can remember bisque was not always in a variety of shades but um, I do have the bisque in dark and the bisque comes with this like this brush that is like perfect for the product and it looks like an eraser. This is the blurring buffer brush from Bare Minerals. I actually got these two as a set from QVC. I will show you what the dark bisque looks like and it might be a little bit messy it looks like this so on those days when I don't want to use 
like liquid products. I want to just buff and go like I'm being like sort of lazy, but not really. There's already some in here because it's a mess in here. So there's always enough in my lid. I just go to swirl it in my lid and swirl it onto here. It's kind of hard to see when I do it that way. Let's see if we can pick up some more. Let me do it this way so you can see what it looks like. But with bare minerals, loose powder products, the more you buff, the better it is. I kind of go to town with this stuff under my eyes because it is a powder product. It does not sink into my fine lines at all. It lasts all day. It's not drying, believe it or not. It is not drying even though it's a powder. It does not enhance the fine lines under my eyes. This one is a very quick and easy for me which is why I like it and it can also go with like my other powder foundation sometimes you don't want to use a liquid foundation and then put a powder product on top of it so if I'm using like my bare minerals powder foundations or my a cosmetics powder foundations I can use this and be done the last two products I am going to show you are both from It Cosmetics. They are the same product, but one is in a pan and one is in a tube. And it is the Bye Bye Under Eye. Bye Bye Under Eye's packaging has changed. This is not how it originally looked. But these are both full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealers. I am loving full coverage and anti-aging. I don't know if I have never tested the waterproof part of it, but um, I do like the ingredients that are in here that are anti-aging. So it kind of plumps up your under eyes. It This one does kind of sink into my fine lines a little bit, but once I go in and sort of do this, it's okay. This one, I will tell you, is pretty sort of sticky. It took me a while, and I've been using this one for like a few years now, but it, it took me... A while to get used to how thick it is a little bit goes a very long way as you can see it does have a little bit of that orange um, undertone to it but at the same time it's a little bit brighter than my face is so it also brightens up under my eyes but it is thick it is something that you have to get used to it is not like this at all if you're used to like the thinner you can just hurry up and buff it this is not that this being as thick it is as it is is what i think makes it last all day it makes it more full coverage and it also i think the thickness of it has to do with the ingredients so it kind of plumps up your under eye and makes it look a whole heck of a lot better this one is the same thing but it is in a a pan or a jar instead of being in the tube and I just recently picked this one up because I kind of like having the control of just putting my finger in it and going tap 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 and the consistency is the same but you just have a little bit more control to me of how much product you have and that is what it looks like I have both of them in the shade deep both of them do an excellent job of concealing those dark circles. It does an excellent job of, like I said, plumping up those fine lines and wrinkles up under my eyes that are getting a little bit worse the older I get. That is it, you all. Those are my favorite concealers. Trust me, I have tried many, many concealers. And these are the ones that I would definitely purchase again if I had to purchase. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, um, please give it a thumbs up so I know to continue with this series of like my favorite foundations, my favorite eyeshadows for, you know, all that type of stuff. Let me know if you want to see more. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you give it a thumbs up so that you know when I have a new video coming out. YouTube is not being good with letting people know when I have videos coming out. So please hit that thumbs up so you know. Have a great day, you all, and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.